Hello friends, today I have a very simple Bengali chicken curry which I'm doing it in the Instant Pot. So here I have some mustard oil heated up on the saute mode. Uh, to that I'm adding a few cardamom pods, a bit of cinnamon stick and a few cloves. Um, and adding some sliced onions to and a little bit of sugar uh, so that helps to soften the onions quickly uh, so here i'm frying the onions for a minute or so and adding a ginger garlic paste once that is mixed in and the raw flavor is gone uh, you add some chopped tomatoes uh, this is a very simple uh, recipe and quick to make. Um, so once the tomatoes are in, uh, you stir it and then you add a teaspoon of turmeric, red chili, coriander powder and cumin powder. Uh, once they are in, you stir or uh, roast the spices a little while. Um, add a little bit of water if you feel like it's really sticking to the bottom and it's you know getting burnt at the bottom. So once you add water, cover it for about a minute so that the spices uh, gets a little cooked and the raw smell of spices go away. So here I'm yeah, done with roasting the spices. Uh, once that's done, I'm adding in potatoes. It's an optional uh, thing that you can add, but Bengalis always add potatoes to chicken curry. Uh, now here goes the raw chicken. I'm using bone-in chicken, about medium-sized uh, curry cut chicken. Uh, you mix everything in, add salt to taste based on uh you know because you have if you're adding potatoes you would need a little more salt if you're not adding put potatoes a little less salt so once the salt is in mix everything really well once one last time and add about a cup of water add about enough water so that all the chicken pieces and potatoes are well submerged uh, anything that sticks out of the water will, will not get cooked will not really uh, boil so add water enough so that everything is really well submerged once that is done um, cover the pot put it in sealing mode and pressure cook it for 15 minutes if you're using boneless chicken um, 10 minutes is good enough because i'm using bone in uh, 15 minutes is the best uh, you know, cooking time for this once done natural release for five minutes then release the rest of the steam and your chicken curry is done look at that color finish off with some garam masala and enjoy with a warm bowl of rice uh, there you go